slow myself down, pay attention to all this information, it allowed me to be way more efficient. I was home more, I was doing more of this type work, brain work, less time in the car. The investors love it because they're making better decisions, right? They're making more informed, data-driven decisions, which means they're making more money. So what does that mean for us? When our clients make more money, we make more, yay, one person got it. Who wants, who wants to make more commissions? So this, is right. how, this is how we do it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Um, let me check the time here. Okay, and I just realized I made a technical error. Daryl was supposed to teach the first part of class, and I was supposed to teach the second part of class. Can I, <laughs> I, on, can I put you on the spot and you teach the second part of class? No, I have to teach the first part of class tomorrow. Okay. Uh, for a reason. All right. That's, all right. So I, 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 I'll do it tomorrow. Let's yeah. do this. Do you want to do the booklet? No, I'd rather for you go ahead and finish Keep because, okay. yeah, because you're already on the roll. Okay. Yeah, you, you're already on the roll. Okay. Well, so. I, can, I can, you can always tell what I've been talking too long because I start slowing my mouth. <laughs> all, right, um, all right, so back to this. Um, let's do a marketing campaign, then we'll take a quick break. How about that? Okay, everybody okay so far? All right, good. Um, let's do this. The booklet. Um, one of my favorite techniques. We use this a commercial lot, by the way, okay? Um, so the booklet is this. Have any of you ever worked with a financial planner before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they give you at some point a, a booklet that has, you know, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, things like that, performance data, okay? So I went to go see one uh, several years ago, a long time ago, actually, good order, probably, I don't know, a long time ago. Kind of I was going through a divorce and I'm like, okay, I gotta figure all this stuff out. So in the middle of all that is when I broke my back. So everything was happening, you know, people that had that happen, everything happens at once, that was my, my time, right? When I was in my 40s, my, my dad could say, at some point you're going through a big life crisis. And to show him, I went and got a buzz cut. Yeah, I thought, well, my big life crisis, get a buzz cut. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> so in any case, um, I'm laying there in a the hospital, wake up from, from surgery, and the nurse comes in with a needle, she's gonna give me a shot. And I said, would you please tell me what that is? She said, yes, Mr. Wilson, it's called Dilata. Have you all ever heard of Dilata before? Let's go if that ever makes it on the street, right? So pretty, I don't know what's in that stuff, Steve, but man, it works, right? So look at his age, like, yeah, yeah, give me some of that. No, just kidding. <laughs> I refuse it, because the next thing I heard from the surgeon was, hey, congratulations, you made it. Bad news, your right leg's not functioning right now. Yeah, and he wasn't smiling either, by the way. Just like ripping off a Band-Aid, right? And I knew I was in trouble, not just because of those two things, but at the same time, my two oldest children were in small, private, out-of-state colleges at the same time. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think about a couple of Ferraris in New Year's, Marcy. I'm still looking for them. They're after somewhere. Yeah, somebody drive my Ferrari. But in any case, uh, I knew I was in trouble. Because uh, what does a realtor do when you can't walk and you can't drive? <laughs> yeah, what do you call Uber cab? Right? They got Uber cab in Jackson, right? <laughs> in any case, um, I went through uh, I went through my surrender my surrender in life and then I you know basically turned things over I'm like you know they're they're gone obviously I've messed things up would you please take over and that that, that doesn't mean you give up does it that's not what surrender means it just means you've got to um, how do I explain this you got to have faith you got to have faith and you got to take action does that make sense in fact what is faith without action yeah it does, it's it's dead so um uh, you got to detach yourself from outcomes. <coughs> you definitely want to dream, you definitely want to visualize and plan to take action, but just remember this, God will make sure his plans work out long before ours ever do. <laughs> so just go with it. Just let go of the outcome. I promise you the outcome that he's got in mind is going to be better. So, in any case, um, back to this. I took a lot of action, in fact, the next day, and I put together two deals. Do you think they were owner-occupant transactions? Here was these guys. I N V E S T O R. I love it, man. They came to the rescue for me. They didn't just help me survive, they helped me thrive. Here's what I'm getting at. Two days later, doctor shows up for a daily visit and sits down and says, um, you know what? The nurses are telling me you're not normal. Just like that. Just for business. <coughs> I kept refusing medication, Stephen, and I guess at a hospital they don't like it when you there's medication. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he got to know uh, if, by the way. The five brothers and sisters, I was the only one that came out with blonde hair and blue eyes. Yep, so I'm the one they picked on. Like, I was adopted, I was a milkman, baby, and that kind of stuff, right? So as a result, I didn't want to, but my brothers and sisters would go do X, what did I go do? Well, I did something, yeah, I did Y, I did something else. So uh, actually, it was a good lesson here. All right, 
right? We all know who Warren Buffett is, right? So when Warren Buffett talks about the herd, when the herd goes left, what should we do? Go right. What should you go right? So in terms of, here's the lesson. Real estate brokers, specifically marketing, but all those other agents, the other 200 agents are out there doing all that same stuff. Day in, day out, get the same results. What should we maybe do? Do something else. Do something they're not. That's what Warren Buffett says. Do what the other guy's not doing, okay? So in any case, um, he got to know my scoutmaster, by the way. I still do high adventure trips all over US and Canada, first class scouts. Uh, whitewater rafts and rock climbing, you name it, we do it. In any case, here's what happened. He's looking at me and he said, do you believe you're gonna walk again, like that? And I said, I just assumed I'd be eventually in a walker. And he said, let me ask you again. He said, do you believe that you're going to walk again, like that? I said, who's gonna me that? And I went back at him and I said, if you believe I'm gonna walk again, I believe I'm gonna walk again. I mean, what would you guys do? Lice in this guy's hand. And he, and he sat back and he said, Mr. Wilson, that's all I need to hear. He said, if you just have the mustard seed of faith, you know what I'm talking about? And you take action, but kind of the steps, take action every single day, you everything I tell you, not only will you be walking, you'll be surfing and skiing and everything else. And six months later, I took my first class scouts on a two day backpacking trip. Well, I thank God for putting a doctor in my path at the time. He's in Bat Al Qaeda, he's from Lebanon. And he didn't just fix my back, he did he fixed this. Like he didn't come in and say you got X percentage of chance of walking. You know how doctors will do that? He actually asked me a simple question, but because it was him who asked the question, and I viewed him as the expert, I assumed I'm gonna be walking again. You follow what I'm saying? Did you guys know you can do that for other people? You can. How many of you have bold? B O L D bold? Yeah. And bold, what we're doing is we're helping you see yourselves the way we see you. We want you to believe in yourselves. If you have children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, you should tell them every day how beautiful they are, how much you love them, and they can anything they want to write, right at, when they start hearing it, they'll start believing it. Okay? Thank goodness my stepdad was wise enough of a stepdad to do that for me because my brothers and sisters didn't get that. He kept telling me, you can do anything you want, Jerry. You can do anything you want, okay? So, in any case, um, back to this. He gets, up, he gets up the walk out, looks back, and says, for the record, most of you guys should sit here and eat food and watch TV. All day long, and I said, well, I'm gonna work. I'm in business for myself. And he asked what I do, and I said, I work with investors. And he said, really? I've been thinking a lot about that lately. He said, would you come to my practice and help my doctors invest in real estate? Ding, 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 ding. Took about 0 .001 seconds to say yes to that. <laughs> See, that's why I don't do the drug state, right? So I can do these opportunities. <laughs> of course, the answer was yes. And uh, three months later, I was up on a walker. He came to pick me up and take me to a restaurant where 30 of his 32 neurodiscerners were waiting for me. Now, I didn't want to show up with a bunch of this kind of stuff. There's no one with doctors and with this in his life. Talks or left it on the table, right? So I came with a bunch of these. Let's just get to it. Hey, by the way, I, I, uh, what I wanted to tell you was this. Um, through, I developed this morning ritual of prayer, meditation, exercise, and all that. And what I got one of those mornings in the hospital was take this booklet, and instead of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, put in there duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes. Who thinks that might be a good idea? We use this for a, for a commercial a lot. Um, so uh, let's just get to it. Please write this down. Number one cover page. Okay, number one cover page. And then write this phrase, where the smart money is. Where the smart money is. It creates what's called an open loop inside the reader's mind. Um, what that means is when I give the phrase where the smart money is and stop right there, what what question is being formulated inside the reader's mind? Where is it? Yeah. Now before you give the answer, always give them a photo from the area. Of course, we're in a beautiful part of the state here. Uh, we do recommend in the training program if you get a picture online to please purchase the photo. Then you have the legal right to reproduce it, okay? So put a picture there, then give them the answer. Investing right here in Jackson, New Jersey, right? Or wherever you are, Morganville, um, Bayville, Point Pleasant, all kinds of beautiful places, right? Um, and then your, your broker's name and your contact information. That's essentially, that's cover page. All right, so let's do this. Um, <laughs> then please write the word letter as an intro letter or introductory letter, okay? Now, in the letter, what we recommend is um, to, for all of us, to try to refrain from talking about ourselves like I'm ABR, I'm CRS, all this. Half the time, people don't even know what that stuff means. 
flip, but what they do care about is if these folks are interested in investing, do you think they might be interested in putting something here like this? Hey, did you know that 37% of residents are renting right now? That's something to put in this booklet, so put those things in there, okay? That's number two, intro letter. <clears throat> number three is the word story, S-T-O-R-Y. Um, story is really important. If you think about teachers, pastors, and, teach, and school we teach them stories, and church we teach them parables, parables and stories. In any case, this is um, an example of one of my old properties. I, it's a, I, I gave them the pro forma on the purchase. Pro forma is income expense. I gave them the pro forma on the sale when I sold it 12 years later. And everything in between. Okay? What I want you, what you want to do is give them a real life example of an investment. Don't just say, like in this type of glossy thing, you can invest and make money. Actually, give them a real life example. By the way, if any of you have never bought a property before, you have my permission to use my story. Okay? Just change out the, the, the name and the, and the picture. At the end, you're supposed to write uh, information provided by Gary Wilson. I don't personally care, but uh, technically speaking, uh, to, to for whatever the walls are, that's what you're supposed to do. But just change out the, uh, so you see, you wouldn't want to change the picture and, and then leave the name on say, well, Gary sure is pretty out. <laughs> that, that's how the rumors are, right? So change picture name and then give the, give the credit it back. Um, yeah, anything I personally done to myself in production, you guys can I can give it to you. Anything that's in the program is proprietary. You gotta, you know, that's different. But uh, any examples I use in a lot of share with you. So in any case, that's number three. Number four is the word sample. And all we're doing is providing samples of properties in the area. Um, now, I recommend putting in a mixture of active properties, sold properties, and under contract properties. In the beginning, Marcy, what I did is I loaded a pool of active listings from the market center and well, that's what this is supposed to do. But the booklet is actually not supposed to sell properties. In fact, what is the booklet designed to sell? He's on you. Exactly, right? All right, that's uh, number four. Number five, please write the word tool, as in toolbox. All right. Um, it's a simple Excel spreadsheet. This is just one tool. There's many tools, but um, who here has had rentals before? Has anybody ever filed Schedule E for your tax return? So all we did see was we took Schedule E, like rents and expenses, and added more columns. That's all we did. That's it. So, hey, real quick, um, commercial is growing at KW. Do any, do any of you have some interest in commercial at some point, like in the future? Aha, uh -huh. good. All right, guys, real quick, good news, number one, Daryl just took the exam last week. He's, he's doing commercial down in the Morristown Market Center. And uh, he's a product of the program. What we recommend is this. There's no such thing as a commercial license. There is a commercial designation called CCIM. Uh, years ago when I was doing it, there was six classes, 1,500 bucks a pop. That's an expensive designation. That's $9,000. That doesn't even include travel. So what we did for this class, the class came, comes from the investor agent program that's made up of multiple Contract for multiple programs on flipping, buying rentals, wholesaling, the whole nine yards, and tools from the commercial world. We took tools from the commercial world, brought them into the residential world, so we all can use them to attract investors. One of them, for example, is this. We took something called uh, Opportunity Evaluator and made our own called Rental Property Calculator. In any case, we put these tools in these booklets. And that night, for example, of the 30 doctors that were there, six of them said, I mean, I want to do this. That's a 20% conversion rate for something that took two hours of dinner, two, two, two hours to make the thing. And the, and the head doctor guy that owned the whole thing, Matt Alcotti, actually picked me up and drove me home in his own car and paid for dinner. So can you see how my life at that point was a little bit better than it was three months before? <laughs> when I'm up on a walker, I got some clients I'm working with, I'm like making money. And I'm thinking to myself, Mr. Genius up here, you know what? I got it made. I got this awesome tool. I'm gonna to go make a gajillion dollars from all the doctors in the area, because I bet I'm the only agent that ever thought of working with doctors before. <laughs> Just for naive up here. <laughs> Turns out doctors weren't that easy. In fact, I'll give you the top groups to work with, but look, I'm gonna give you seven groups, but hang on one second. One thing we do recommend is when you do the booklet, then please just start off with 25 booklets. Just do 25 at a time. Um, the reason is, is we've measured this over the years. I've taught well over 600 market centers, over 16,000 students, and I've trained over 2,000 of you personally. 
we, we know that you're getting three calls on average for every 25 bookers compared to this type of marketing, which is a half a percent return call rate. In fact, these are called cold leads, right? You gotta kiss a lot of frogs to get that print. It's a lot of hard work. But what do we call people that respond to us from this type of marketing? What do we call those people? Remember, it's based on tools, information, and it's worth. So it's not a cold lead, it's a, well, prospect, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So between, yeah, exactly, yeah, between timing, motivation, readiness, willingness, and money. They clearly demonstrated what motivation, possibly timing, uh, willingness, right? All these important things for us to determine if we work with them. Uh, in any case, let's just go ahead and uh, give you the seven groups. You guys ready? This is going to save you a ton of time. You don't have to kiss all those frogs. <laughs> just kiss these seven people. I guess I should be careful. Gary also said, kiss these seven people and the money comes out. <laughs> well, let's kiss chiropractors first. I don't know if they kiss good, but they make good investors. So chiropractors is one of those groups. Okay? The dental group is another great group. So no particular order. Chiropractors is a great group. Dental group is another great group. Teachers is another great group. They don't make as much as orthodontists, but teachers as a group tend to be pretty good stewards with what they got. They kind of have to be, right? Um, teachers. Another great group. Um, uh, first responders, firemen, policemen make really good investors. In fact, would you say they're action takers? Yes. And who, and who do you want to work with? People who take action. That's it. Uh, firemen, policemen, um, engineers is another really good group. I love those guys. My gosh. Yep. Do any of you have an engineer somewhere in your, in your spheres? My son went to MIT, but he's a mm -hmm. pro of Miller Soccer. So oh, no kidding. What an interesting story. My degree was, was software engineering, but here I am doing this. Yeah. So I taught a class up at uh, Cambridge, which is for you know, MIT. Yeah. Yep. Um, I got my got my the Harvard hoodie for my for my youngest daughter. She wants to go to Harvard. So, in any case, um, back to this engineers. Um, well, engineers ask a lot of questions at first. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. But check this out. When an engineer learns to do something, do you have to teach them twice? No. When an engineer commits, do they follow through? Yes. This is why I like engineers, guys. When an engineer res responds to me from this type of marketing, green check mark. I know I'm going to get paid. In fact. Would this type of investing resonate with your son, Marcy? Structure, organization, growth. This is how their brains are wired. The DNA says, yes, we do, we do that. Uh, by the way, I have found engineers to be one of the most loyal groups of people that I've ever worked with. It's amazing. Um, okay, another great group is um, pilots, cargo, military, airline, agricultural, all kinds of pilots. Now when a pilot first, let's talk about their DNA. When a pilot first crawls into the cockpit, what's the first thing they go through before they do anything else? Check every checklist. Checklist, so what should we give them in our marketing? Checklist. checklist. Give them checklists, give them stuff that they can look at and, you know, electrical, roofing, plumbing, check, check, check. And they're trained and conditioned to make decisions what? Right away. Thank goodness for people to travel, yep. Uh, would you say they're action takers? Yeah. Well check this out. If you, I personally speaking, by the way, if you ever want to have a lot of fun, well, professionally too, this guy has a lot of fun. If you ever want to have a lot of fun, go hang out with some airline pilots. You may never fly again, <laughs> <laughs> but you'll have some fun. Okay, one more group is military folks. Um, I love them. They, number one, tend to be more disciplined. Would you agree? More disciplined. They also tend to be. Uh, more respectful. Actually, who'd like to have more respectful clients in your business? Yeah, everybody's give me more of those guys, yeah? Okay, we've already heard the saying birds of a feather flock together, right? So on Saturday, beautiful golfing day, all these dentists or orthodontists go out there to go golfing. Who's likely to be part of the golfing parties with them? Other dentists and orthodontists. They're gonna say, man, how is it that you're that you're picking up these properties? They're gonna say, you know what? You gotta call Marcy. Marcy's the person who's got the tools, the information, the inventory. And who are those guys going to call? They're going to call Issa. No, you're not <laughs> they call Marcy. When you demonstrate with tools and information, right, and stuff like that, people will attach themselves to it. In fact, one of the things we really encourage you to do is to not keep this kind of stuff to yourselves. 
but to show it to your clients. Because when we show this type of stuff to our clients, what does that do for our credibility? I think it goes up, yeah, exactly. All right, um, uh, who, how many of you feel like you know at least one person in any of those seven groups? Just one. That's actually pretty good. All right, all right. All right, show of hands. Do you like the book that is a marketing campaign? Let's do the let's do the let's do the commit commitment test for us again. Let's say you do the book every month for the next twelve months, and you do twenty five per month, just like we described. So I want you to write a number down from your heart, which is how many transactions do you believe you're going to get from this technique? So it's twenty five booklets times twelve, three hundred booklets over the next twelve months. How many transactions are you going to get from this? And write that number down fast, so it comes from the heart. You want to start in the heart. Everything comes in the heart. In fact, when you when you start with your heart, um, what happens is your brain kicks in and goes to work for you. So we already can control our thoughts, but when you start in here, success is an inside job, you make more work out of your, your brain, you get more out of your brain. It helps you figure out the education, the information, the action step, right? Actually, let's write that down and then we'll take a five minute breather. Um, there actually is a formula for success. Number one is you definitely have to have the right education. You don't want to wing it, okay? Too easy to miss opportunities and make mistakes. Number two is you definitely want to have the right information. And the neat thing about education is it shows you how to get and use the information, right? Now, the third variable requires us to take action. That's it. Boy, that's the thing that separates all the other people out there from just getting along in life to actually being proactive, taking action, getting results, and living the life that you want to live. So, make sense? Okay, would you all like to take a five minute restroom break? Let's make it six minutes. How about that? Mm -hmm. one, one minute on. I can't believe we're actually a minute ahead of schedule. I don't know how we did it. Because I spent a lot of time working this on here on this. <laughs> if anybody has questions during the break, I don't mind at all discussing anything with you. Open book, open forum. Um, do any of you have an interest in going to a, a three day event, if you could, up in Short Hills? A three day what? Event. They're the company that puts on, that gives us the content for the class is doing a three day event in Short Hills in uh, 24th, 25th, 26th. What type of event? It's uh, actually in August. It's up at, they're going over um, content for mall. It's like the, like the program that I teach you at our market centers is uh, called the Investor Agent uh, class, right? So the program behind it, these guys own that. It's a vendor. And they, they have four of the programs flipping, buy rentals, managing rentals, all sorts of well, for three days, they do this all over the country. They teach you content from all those programs. I mean, it's jam-packed. I've been to three of myself. I've been here, you've been to two. I've been to two. And I'm teaching, I teach now a lot, of, a lot of it, not all of it, a lot of it. The reason I mention this is if you guys go through and you follow through like with the training program in here in New Jersey, they give you that three-day that three day event for free. You don't have to pay for it. Really? You can drive there from here, man. I mean, they can, well, how far is short of an hour? Yeah, yeah about 45 minutes. Yeah. The half, the, the Sunday, the Sunday the twenty sixth is a half a day, so they they finish. Where's the, where's the, oh, it starts on a Friday. Yeah, Friday all day, Saturday all day, half day Sunday. It's at the Short Hills Home. Yeah. Where did it start? The I'll, sh I'll show you after class. I just want to make sure you guys understand it. Um, there's a lot more to this. This is a really good class if you have a, real, a strong interest in investing, whether for yourselves or for your clients. You know, it's actually a really good question to ask yourselves, guys. And how many of you like the idea of working with business-minded people? It's like a chiropractor on the end of It's easier, isn't it? You're gonna, you'd love this program, because that's all it is. There's no door knocking, no cold calling. I mean, we're doing, we got a lot more marketing to cover today. But it's stuff that you can do on targeted, niche-level marketing. Because you can do that with investors, right? So, I'm sorry, you had a question? Yeah.